Hello, how are you guys doing? So in this video, we'll talk about, I'm um, not talk about, we're going to answer a question asked by a subscriber and they commented. So the question was, my parents are not asking me to come back. I really want to be back to India, but my parents are not asking or pushing for it. So I'll try to answer this question. So before answering this question, this is all my personal perspective and my understanding. You may have found it silly or I may be wrong. So please, I apologize in advance. Sorry, I don't want to hurt anybody's feeling. It's not the purpose. The only purpose of making these videos is to help someone out there if they are in the same journey as I was or I am, you know. So why parents would not ask you to come back to India and what could be the reason behind it? So it's a multifold um, question and there are multiple reasons behind it according to me. One of the big reason is parents are very selfless people. Usually they don't want to put their kids into difficult things and difficult times and difficulty in their lives. That's one of the big reasons they don't want you to come back because my mom used to always say this, I don't want you to come back because I feel you and your kids will suffer here. Now, how she made up this mind or thought about it that I will suffer when I'll be back to India. I think we also are responsible for part of it because when you go to abroad or all these countries, America or anywhere else, we put a picture and we create this picture and we talk to our parents and friends and families and tell what is so good about America how the life is so comfortable, oh, this doesn't happen, there is no trash, there is no pollution, there is no corruption, schools are easy, all those things. So when they hear all these things we say to them about the place we are living in, or we are living the country we are living in, they feel like, you know, they are at the best place in the world, why should we ask them to come back? Even though they really want them you to come back deep down inside they don't want to say this because their fear is they don't want to put you in the difficult place same happened with me my parents never ever asked me to come back i was puzzled like why i always asking them questions from different directions should i come back what do you think about it i want to come back they're always neutral about it. They say, it's your life. If you want to come back, it's your choice. Think carefully. Don't worry about us. My dad always said this to me that it's your life. I don't want to want you to come back and have problems here. Rather you live where you are and meet us more often as much as possible. But I found why he said that because he just wanted to make sure that I'm good, I'm okay in my life, right? So we create that kind of atmosphere or the picture or the image that causes them to believe this, that if we come back to our home country, it'll be a big loss, all those sort of things. That's one. Second is media, movies, people around us are also responsible. They keep talking all the good things about the other countries. They never talk the bad things. That is also, they think, you know, our kids are such a nice place. Why we should call them back? Why we should push them to come back? They are happy there. Some parents still go out of their way or they still go and share the feelings with the kids, which is nice. I'm not saying that they are not doing right. They sh 
it's good it's all good right these are the two important reasons why i feel your parents will never ask you to come back some of the things will never be said to you by them they'll never say some things you have to feel them you need to feel them because your parents always express feelings and if you see their feelings they talk a lot in their words um they'll be shy about saying things or they'll be hesitant about saying things but their feelings will tell you a lot third is do you have you always listened what your parents said if you are like the question was my parents are not asking should i go back you must have listen to your heart even though your parents must have said not to marry a particular person not to go to a particular place not to go for a booze not to eat something not to do this you still have done that right in your teenage life in your middle like growing up right you would have done that now when you are trying to say this that they are not asking then should i go back to india or not it's like you're saying that says they are not asking should i do this or not have you done that always no at least not i haven't done that i did whatever I, whatever i felt was right so isn't it an excuse or a trap you are creating for yourself you're saying because they are not asking me i shouldn't go back or i shouldn't do what i feel is right but if if you look back you must have done certain things even though they said no for that doesn't it apply here also if you're feeling that you should do it and you're just waiting for them to tell you that isn't it something you should just do it how and why i know this is because i was doing the same thing i'm guilty of doing the same thing i was always like my parents will ask me to come back and i'll go back they never asked me in fact i'll share this with you when i was in india my dad during his last days told me why you came back i told him i just want to be back that's why i'm back and he said are you sure are you back for good because he did not know that i wrapped up everything and i came back he was not doing go well so i did not share many of the things with them but then during his last days i found he was little bit satisfied that i'm back here i was close to him also living in the same house some parents just want you to be living in the same country they'll probably never share with you i just want to share one thing with you is that some of the people some of my um people i know who in america their parents sometimes tell oh what if they can come back to pune bangalore or somewhere close by they say that but they cannot say this to their kids because of the same feeling right they don't want to take this ownership for putting you in a wrong spot or in a problem because they will feel really bad about it because they care for you this is the only reason i can think of that's why your parents are not saying you to come back they are not asking you to come back because they want the best for you and again as i always said if you feel you have already had the better life wherever you are living there's nothing like it i am really really happy that you have that kind of life that wherever you want to live you are living there but if you are not happy with what the life you are leading or the place you are living try to change something it's always be risky it's always will be tough has always been like this my wife 
told me so many times that why you keep making videos about return to India? What if not everybody wants to come back? You're just posting this again and again. And I was like, the questions asked in the comments tells me that people want to come back, but they have certain things going on or certain things they're not able to figure out. I was in the same situation. That's why I'm doing it. My purpose of making this video is not saying America is bad or India is good. My whole purpose of making this video is if you are in a situation where you're not able to make decision, I am just trying to provide you a perspective which may help you, which may guide you, which may be a little bit helpful for you. So that's my answer. I hope uh, I, I answered your question. Hope it makes sense. Hope I added value in your day. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy where you are. One life, man. You know, this is just one life. Do whatever is right. Failure, come and go. Things come and go. It's just like what you want from your life. Just do that. Anyways, thank you very much for your time. And I appreciate all the things you do. Comment if you want me to answer anything. Otherwise, best and best for you.